Last night, we had a look at the fate that may befall on the national carrier, Sri Lankan Airlines. Sri Lanka Telecom is also facing somewhat of a similar fate with regard to the divestment of its shares. Is there an attempt to sell off SLT for cheap? As concerns mounted over this matter, it was also taken to court. Now, Sri Lanka Telecom in the previous financial year generated profits in the billions of rupees. However, it appears that plans are afoot to award the majority share of this state-owned entity to a predetermined buyer instead of opting to the highest bidder. One faction that had shown its interest in this SOE had taken the matter to court and obtained an order preventing the sale of the shares of SLT to any faction until the 12th of March. The respondents in this application are Finance Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, Shehan Semasinghe, who is the State Finance Minister, as well as the State-Owned Enterprises Restructuring Unit located at Temple Trees. The reason for this is that in the privatization process, it appears that a predetermined buyer is set for SLT instead of offering the entity to the highest bidder. However, the most suitable bidder has been informed that they do not meet the qualifications and when they inquire for reasons, they are told that certain matters have not been submitted. Given what transpired recently, it is evident of what could happen to Sri Lankan airlines and fears are mounting over the fate of Sri Lanka Telecom as well, where the EPF, ETF and other government bodies are major shareholders. When you make the calculations based on the current rates for the shares, we can understand that an asset worth billions is likely to be given away for a cheap rate.